You want to spice up your videos by adding some cool assets to them, like text, logos, VFX assets, you name it. But how can we do that without spilling glue everywhere? Well, we just need After Effects and the motion tracking tool. First things first, I place my footage in the timeline together with the text, logo or VFX assets I want to use. Then before I track anything, I'll also create a null object. This will be my future container for all my tracking data. Of course, to keep everything nice and orderly, I give every layer the correct names. Now, with my footage selected, I go to the tracker panel. And if you can't find it, just go to the window menu on top and look for it in the list. So, in the tracker panel, I have four options. But I only need the track motion option. If you want to explore the other three buttons, definitely let us know in the comments down below. But what do they do? Well, with the inner square, I will select the part or element I want to stick our tracking point to. The outer square is the searching area for After Effects. If you have a fast movement, you want to make the bigger square. This gives After Effects more data to work with. But the bigger the square, the slower the tracking process. So keep that in mind. But as you can see, I also have three options to track. The standard option is position and this value will always be tracked. The other two options are rotation and scale. When you select these, you will obviously also track both properties together with the position. And look, when I select for example the scale property, I get an extra tracking point. This is the same with the rotation option. With this new tracking point, After Effects can determine the change in scale and rotation within the footage. And a tip here, don't randomly place your second tracking point. Try to look for a point that makes sense. If you're tracking the scale, don't place one tracking point in front and one in the background, due to the distance in real life and you will get a really bad tracking. But for now, to keep it simple, let's only track the position property. My tracking point is placed correctly. Now I can hit the analyze forward button. However, I can't just lay back and do nothing. I need to keep an eye on the process because After Effects can make mistakes. And that's when I need to intervene. I can stop the tracking when needed and adjust it, then just start processing again. And a little tip here, if it keeps failing, try to analyze one frame at a time. It actually does a more accurate job when you do it like this, just more time consuming. And I do have another awesome sheet code for getting better tracking. I just have to increase the contrast of my shot. So before doing anything, I'm cranking up the contrast with an effect called curves or the Lumetri effect. But for this technique to work, I also need to pre-compose my layer, meaning I'm going to bump bundle my footage and the contrast effects into a new wrapper. And to do this, I right click on my layer and choose pre-compose. Now on this new layer, I can do a motion tracking, which will be better 99% of the times. It's a technique I use all the time. I have a good tracking and let's add it to my null object I created earlier. Under the motion target I hit the edit target button and in the new pop-up window I'm going to select the null object and hit ok. Then click on the apply button and in the pop-up window apply the x and y dimensions. Voila! My tracking data is applied to the null object. You can even see the keyframes After Effects has made. And now it's super easy to start linking stuff. For example, let's link our text so it follows along with the tracking. Just look for the pick whip tool under the parent and link tab in the timeline. Now for the layer you want to link, click hold and drag it to your null object. Release when it's highlighted and your text is now linked and tracked. This process you can repeat for every footage and asset that you want. But if you want to take your tracking a step further and want to track stuff in 3D space, definitely check out the video here on my left. Thank you so much for watching.